Hello all. Someone left a question on the video about the clock circuits that I did a while ago about capacitors. And I have to admit, I missed it. And I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to reply. So I thought I'd do a quick video to explain exactly what the capacitor is doing in that circuit. Let's look at the schematic. You can see that the capacitor is placed between pin 1, the input of the inverter, and ground. And there's a resistor between pin 2, the output, and pin 1. So when pin 1 is low, like on startup, pin 2 is high. The 5 volts flows through the resistor, charging the capacitor. And once the capacitor is charged high enough to toggle pin 1 high, then pin 2 goes low. Now when pin 2 goes low, that means it's ground. So this capacitor is connected to ground on both sides, which is a short circuit. And if you short circuit a charged capacitor, it will immediately discharge through the ground side. However, we have this resistor in between both pins, effectively slowing down the current flow. So if you think of electricity as water, you can fill a straw full of water, put your finger over one end, and the water will not flow out the other. It's the same with electricity. So, let's look here. I have a capacitor here. A 1000 microfarad capacitor so we can watch it discharge. If I were to remove the power source, you see that the capacitor continues to hold its charge. That's because the power cannot flow to ground unless there is a complete circuit. If I short out the power and the ground, the charge instantly goes to zero. So let me recharge this. Now if I short it out with a resistor, then you can see the charge takes a lot longer to discharge. That's what's happening with this inverter clock circuit. The two ends of the capacitor are connected to ground with a resistor in between them, which allows the charge to flow to the ground through the ground leg. I hope that answers your question. And thanks for the question. I enjoy answering them. Keep them coming. Have a great day.